So you guys heard how the other day I almost died. Don't know if you know this if you're new, but I had to get an emergency blood transfusion earlier in the year. So imagine now I'm so grateful to be alive. I come home, go on the internet, and I see somebody state my should have blood clot dead that would teach me if I stay out the dance hall. You want me to die? Because I think Drake should be allowed to do dance hall? No, you taking this bad mind thing to the next fucking level. I'm gonna talk about this today. here quick video for you today I need to talk about this bad minded thing that's going on I didn't know this bad mind thing was so rampant mind you I don't really surround myself with bad minded people so I didn't know it's an epidemic taking over the fucking world but before I get to the video, make sure you are following me on Instagram. My name is Strictly Babsy over there. My name on Facebook is Babsy at Large, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes because I got some bad-minded posts over there. As well as I'm on Snapchat now, my name is Strictly Babsy. And if you are confused about where I am, just download my app. It's called Babsy Beyond Blogging. You'll get a text when I put up a written post, video post, all the stuff that I do, you will get a notification for it. So make sure that you download the app. Now, people, bad mind is something that I feel I don't even know what it is like I grew up so weird like maybe my dad should come and give lessons on how to make it in life because I remember being about seven years old and my neighbor had gotten a brand new Chrysler New Yorker they don't even make them no more I'll tell you how old I am 37.2001 years old right so when I came home after hearing my neighbors parents talking and stuff I said to my dad that my neighbor got a new car my dad was like oh yeah he's seen it in this and that and I was like oh they must be selling drugs because black people don't have money and I remember my dad sat me down and he's like, let me tell you something. The next time I ever hear you comment on how somebody gets something, I'm going to slam your ass whole head into the fucking ground. Like serious dread like that. Like, yeah, I think it was like word for word. I think I might have bleeped out some. But he was like, don't you ever talk about how people get their things. Ask how people get their things. Suspect how people get their things. Mind your own business. And I'm seven years old, so that would be 30 years ago. And I didn't understand why he used to be so vicious about minding your own business and staying out of it until I got to where I am now. Let me tell you something. People in this day and age are so fucking bad mind, right? It is crazy. Like, I, I didn't know it was this bad because, as I said, I didn't really grow up around it. So as a blogger, I get real bad mind comments all the time. Things like, um, Kevin should fuck you and leave you and get Canadian papers and run leave you. And I'm like... What video blog could I have ever done to warrant you to say something like that? Like, why are you saying that? This is really scary. You have a display picture up on Facebook. You have children. Are you teaching them that? Because to me, all human beings have some degree of envy. We all will see something be like, boy, Babsy M4 look good. At if I had one of them, I'd drive it out, right? Most people will see something nice, see somebody with something nice, see somebody get something great and be like, I wonder how it would feel if I had that. That's normal. Um, most people do have some sort of envy where they'd be like a curious a curiosity with like how they would feel if they had something like that. The next step is jealousy. Now, jealousy is when you'll be like, I don't like this person. And you have no real valid reason to dislike them. But you're leveraging bullshit to explain why you don't like them. You're probably just jealous. So, you don't like Babsy. Why? Oh, she does cuss people. She cuss you? You just don't like her. So... People will look at someone that has a lot going on for them, see somebody in a great job, see somebody in a great relationship, and feel like they are basically jealous of that, and they don't like that person because of what they have. Nothing of what this person's done to them, just merely seeing this person, seeing them happy, seeing them with money, seeing them moving good, and they just get jealous. Now, bad mind is another step past that, where you actually now want to wish harm, wish death, interfere in people's lives, 
lives, stop people from progressing, which is confusing to me because you cannot stop Ja time. I don't know if you didn't know this, but I'm here to tell you, you cannot stop Ja time. What is deemed for somebody, you cannot. You don't have the power, your words, your mentality, anything you have, the tightest weave glue cannot stop somebody from progressing in life. You're not strong enough to stop that. So to me, it's, it's weird to see so many of you involved in trying to sabotage someone else's life because you just need to work on your own. Focus on yourself. Get yourself somewhere in life. But all the efforts you put into trying to pull somebody down, you're not going to stop them like me. You want me to die? I'm Babs and Must Prime. I'm an Autobot. Transformers. I'm not, I'm not going to dead so easy. Don't be out here wishing bad for me. Kevin ain't leaving me anytime soon. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that. Don't wish for that. Wish for me to get some bad hair or something like that from, from China. So yeah, let me talk about the situation that happened on my Facebook fan wall because I shared my video, this one right, right here that I did the other day, that was about, you know, being pressured back home in the Caribbean, people wanting you to buy them expensive things and sending stuff in barrels and all kind of thing. Ray Tay Tay. So now, I shared this on my Facebook page, Babsy at Large, where all the discussions go on every single day. If you're not on that fan page, make sure you get there because that's where we keep it jiggy. This man comes in comments. I said, yo, this is the Bad Mind of the Week Award. You want to be Bad Mind? I'm going to start talking about y'all. Because you all out here playing the mother cut fool with your damn self. Talking about, you are just one cheap ass individual. Trying to impress many of you live like animals in those foreign countries. Trump is going to pack a lot of you back to your home country soon. Imagine that. If my phone case didn't look so good, God blame. What you mean Trump gonna pack a whole bunch of us and send us back soon? First and foremost, when you're bad mind, be factually bad mind. I don't even live in America. Trump can't send me nowhere. You're Jamaican because I went through your profile. You live in Jamaica. Where bad mind I go? Where deportation I go? Well, Trump gonna send somebody back. Where? Why are you sitting on Facebook praying for your family to get sent back and people to get sent back? This, like that, that you're, you're the emperor of bad mind. Furthermore, I'm not even born in America. I'm not even born in the Caribbean. I'm Canadian. Why would you just click on my profile and be like Beijing Canadian? Oh, maybe Trump wouldn't apply to her. But you're so fucking bad mind. You want to come whine, whine and jiggle and rack up in a diss? People, honestly, bad mind ism needs to be a recognized mental health issue. It has gotten to the point now where I am asking. I'm asking for this because I don't understand why you would be on Facebook wishing for people to get deported. You all can't be serious out here. Seriously now, people, here's some advice. Focus on your own life. Stop trying to interfere in people's life. You cannot stop ja time. Who God bless no man can curse. Your words, your feelings are insignificant in the real game of life as it pertains to other people. As I said, I might get a bad batch of hair. But the most that's going to happen to me is I fall and I get the fuck back up. You sitting here hoping for people to fall, you need to hope for your ass to get up. Because if your life was together, if you had shit going on, if you were secure within yourself, you wouldn't be bad mind. I deal with bad mind artists every day because they can't write, they can't sing, and anybody else that gets a little bit of a buzz, they worry about them. Yo, perfect your craft, worry about yourself. Babsy, I don't look at other bloggers. I don't even know what other people blog about. Because when I get up in the morning, I gotta be doing my own shit. I'm not out here being like, who's this gonna be hosting this? And who's gonna be that? I don't care. You need to be secure within yourself. Stop being bad mind. It's not cute. And you're passing it on to our other generations. And we have a whole fucking infestation of bad minded ass motherfuckers. I don't know what you all are doing with yourself out here. But you need to stop. If you don't want to take my advice, well, just remember, Babsy careth not. Forthwith and henceforth, I now shall not be addressing any bad-minded people anymore. But if you really want to know what I would like you to do, I would like you to drink motherfucking bleach, chase with Dettol, and carry your asshole. See you guys soon. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them so Rasta love the youth, them, he never ill treat them. He bless them to the fullest in a one love, one harmony. Something about John, defend your earth. He keep my better blood, burn them down. Mm. You 
none of them can stop your time All run the wicked man I keep up them crime None of them can stop your time I got to this time man hey! None of them can stop your time All run the wicked man I keep up them crime Me 